Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode on, um, for the screencast, continuing from the other one for the, um, installing VirtualBox on Windows 7. Uh, today we are go I'm going to be showing you how to install, uh, Ubuntu 11.4 onto VirtualBox. Uh, this is basically a free Linux operating system. It's open source. And um, uh, basically, instead of physically installing it to the hard drive, we are going to install it and run it virtually. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we want to go to um, ubuntu.com, and you want to click Get Ubuntu. Here, you want to hit Download and Install. And from here, you want to choose your um, operating version. Um, 32 is recommended. I'm actually um, going to do 64-bit because I have a 64-bit operating system. Um, you can, however, download the Windows installer if you wish to um, do a dual boot in Windows 7, basically meaning when you start your computer you have the option of setting up which operating system you want to run. Uh, but today we're going to install virtually. So you want to go ahead and download that and um, you want to save it to your downloads folder or wherever you save them. I already have them. I already have the ISO file downloaded. Um, so what I'm going to do is go over to uh, let's see, go to downloads, and uh, there's the ISO files there. And first, what we want to do is go ahead and start Oracle, the virtual box. Um, once you have it open, you want to come up and click New, um, and this will take us through the wizard of the new virtual machine. Um, and before I get started here, I may run out of time uh, because Screener only allows me five minutes. So um, if I run out of time, I will be back for part two of this uh, of this episode. So let's go ahead and click Next. Um, we're going to call this Ubuntu, the name. Um, um, and of course the operating system is Linux and the version is Ubuntu. Um, then once we do that, I'll go ahead and click Next. Um, what it will do is it will automatically determine how much memory. Um, in this case, um, it will allocate 512 megabytes, which is okay. Um, that's the recommended, and click Next. Um, what we want to do here is um, uh, create a new hard disk. Um, so uh, what we want to do is go ahead and click Next. This will um, bring us to another wizard that will create a new virtual disk. So go ahead and click Next. Uh, we want to leave it at dynamically. Um, that way if it needs more storage, it will gradually increase the storage. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Um, so now we want to find, um, select the button of the location file to store um, the hard disk, and, and we'll want to keep it um, Ubuntu. And in this case, we'll leave it to um, 8 gigs. Uh, since I do have a terabyte hard drive, um, I do tend to have a little bit more space here. And we'll go ahead and click Next. And you are going to create a virtual hard disk with the following parameters. Um, so basically what it's going to do is location users uh, virtual hard box. Um, go ahead and click Finish. And here's the summary. You can see the name is Ubuntu OS type Ubuntu base memory 512 boot hard disk um, so and so. And we'll go ahead and click Finish. Okay. Now you'll see that um, we have done that, created the virtual drive. Um, what we want to do is go under, I believe we want to go under settings. And um, if we go to, um, we need to find where to um, get the uh, ISO file to link it to um, to link it 